Come to the front door now with nothing in your hand. self-loading pistol made in Germany. It appeared to be a 9mm with a 19 round capacity. It was loaded. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. What's going on the people that miss your boy Cam Topical Juice? It's been a few days since I dropped a video. I've been working 12 hour days since Wednesday. It's been long, but today's my first day off and you're gonna be bored of me by the end of the day because I've got quite a few videos to drop. As you can see from the title, we're gonna be dealing with another low IQ. We've got another candidate for the low IQ Olympics and as you can see, it's a teenage boy this time. So I'm gonna done the waffling thing. I've got a fair few things to do today, so I've gotta get these videos out. Like the video for me, it takes half a second, makes a massive difference on how the YouTube video performs in the algorithm. Press that subscribe button, it's rolled to 50k. We gotta get there, man. We gotta get to 50k. Come on, man. Come on, tell your friends, tell your brothers, see your sisters, see your aunties, see your uncles, tell your pets, all of that. Bell to be notified. Now, as you saw at the start of this video, I played a video of a police raid, and that police raid was against a young boy called Ashari, uh, Ashari, Ashari, Ashari Smith. Ashari Smith. Apparently, when the police raided his home, yeah, and smashed through the window, said, get down! You know, our police are mad that, get down now, now, get down now! They were like, fucking, all right, calm down, bro. You know what I'm saying, chill, I heard you the first time, why are you shouting down the house for, like, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, apparently when the police came through, they caught him in the bedroom doing this, with a gun, like this, dancing. With his headphones in, like this, thinking it's a rave. And then one's there, start dabbing with it. Got a machine in his hand and he's dabbing with it. <laughs> Yo, nah, this guy's too funny. You see these, these teenage boys, yeah? They've been, they've been watching too much American Chicago drill. You see like American Chicago drill, yeah? Or just American drill in general. All these American drillers, they be dancing in their videos with, with, with guns like this. Like this, all this, all this, all this dancing and all, all this, all this leg in the air business though. Like, all this, all this. <laughs> so this young boy, this young boy is taking inspo from the, from the American dancers and that. But anyway, all jokes aside, yeah, the police have raided this young teenager's house. They found a strap under his bed. Not only that, they found videos on his phone of himself dancing with the strap, handling the strap. Now, before we talk about the alarming evidence against him and his poor decision making, let's just quickly read uh, the article, right? It says a teenage gunman is caught showing off with a gun in mobile phone footage before armed uh, officers raided his home and arrested him. Ashari Smith is shown dancing and posing with the weapon in footage that was recovered from his phone after his arrest. Officers received intelligence that Smith, then 17, may have been keeping a firearm at his house in Braze Road in Hansworth. Let's read that line again. Officers received intelligence. Who's snitching? Who bit the cheese? Anyway, firearms officers raided his house in November last year and they found the gun, a Wolfer pistol loaded with five nine millimeter bullets. Smith, now 18, was arrested and now, and has now admitted possession of a firearm and ammunition. He was jailed for three years. While the minimum sentence for possession of a firearm is five years for adults, Smith was 17 when he had the gun and he was sentenced as a youth. So first things first, this is very disappointing. Very, very disappointing indeed. We have a 17 year old boy, yeah, a misguided soul. An impressionable young man dancing around with machines, dancing around with straps. Where did it go wrong for this boy? Who knows, was it the parents? Was it the area that he grew up in? Is it mental health? I don't know. But the sad thing is, the sad reality is, is this is normal in England. Kids running around with guns, it's normal. Very normal, I've got a video coming soon, either today or tomorrow, about a broad day shooting in Tottenham. Yeah, low IQ behavior, silly, very, very silly. But this is England. This is what England is. M's happening every day. Shooting's happening every day. Knifing's happening every day. This is normal. 
It's, it's funny because Americans, they look at us, or well, Americans think they're the center of the universe anyway, a lot of them. Yeah, not, not, not the Americans that subscribe to me, you lot are the realists. But, you know, most of Americans, they, they believe America's the center of the universe, they don't really look outside the borders, a lot of them don't have passports. I mean, they are venturing out more now, but it's funny because Americans will be like, ah, oh, oh, England, oh, it must be a joke, they run around with butter knives, and oh, we do you drink tea with the Queen, and all this stuff, bro, you have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea what England is about, bro. If it ain't machines, it's knifings, and it's funny because there's a big difference between shooting someone from 50 meters away, yeah, and chefing them up with a knife. You have to be a cold-blooded, ruthless motherfucker to tear out someone's flesh with a knife. It's a lot easier to pull a trigger. It's a lot harder to, you know what I'm saying, but we ain't gonna get into who's badder. But this is another young boy misguided, yeah? What are you doing dancing around like a clown in your bedroom with a machine? Now, this is the problem, yeah? I live in the real world. I can sit here and tell you, yeah, that, oh, you know, we, we, we should put the knives down, we should put the guns down and this, that. That's not the real world. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you it is. I, I, you come to Topical Juice because I'm the realist. Yeah, I tell you, I give you the real. As much as I want the kids to put down these weapons, they're not gonna do it. They're knee deep in wars, they're knee deep in beef. Not to mention we are knee deep in a spiritual warfare happening right now. Yeah, you can see the world around you, it's literally crumbling. You've got people, there is no, Sin is everywhere, do you understand? Like, you can literally see it around you. There, there is no purity in the world. It's all gone tits up. You got kids doing this, and someone's making money from that way, and this person's capable, it's, it's a mess. So I'm not gonna sit here and preach, but the reality is, yeah, the problem is the clout. The problem is wanting to be seen being a bad boy, to be known as a bad boy. If you've got beef in the streets, yeah, I understand. I get it, it is what it is. It's a sad reality that my brothers and sisters, or mainly brothers, are, are knee deep in beef and wars, but what can I do, this is the reality. It goes back history, it goes back generations. My problem is the stupidity that goes along with it. If you know you're knee deep in beef and you're handling straps, handling weapons that will get you put in jail for a long time, why are you filming it? Why are you snitching on yourself? Now we're gonna talk about, someone definitely snitched on him, but before we get to that, even if someone snitched on you and said you got a gun, rah, 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 someone, rah, 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 and, and someone raided you, if the machine ain't in the house, it may be parked somewhere else down the road, then you're not getting caught. Cool. If there's no videos on your phone of the weapon, you're not getting caught. Cool. But the problem is clout. The problem is I wanna be seen and known as a gangster. The only reason he was doing all that goofy dancing, yeah, and filming himself and filming the gun, is to show his friends. It's to show his friends, it's to show that he's odd, it's to get ratings, all of that. If you're gonna use it, why are you showing evidence of it? I mean, I mean, the good thing about the kid, he's smart enough to handle it with gloves, yeah? At least he ain't dumb like that. He's, he's, he's trying to protect himself from the prince and all that, all of that. But what, what, but what good is handling the strap with gloves if you're keeping it under your bed? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's the, point in, what's the point in protecting yourself, yeah? Putting gloves on so you've got no prince and you leave it under your bed and you're filming yourself. It's stupid. Obviously, this kid is very misguided. Maybe he ain't got a good family structure at home, who knows? Maybe he's been influenced by his friends too much, I do not know. But this type of stuff is very silly. Because if you're, if you're really bald, if you're really knee deep in the streets and you intend to use this, and you intend to cause harm on, you know, on oppositions, yeah? You wanna do it silently. You don't want people to know it's you. You don't want the authorities to know it's you. Really and truly, you don't even want the ops to know it's you. The best people in the streets, they do the dirt silently, and they don't get caught by anyone. Because the best thing about that is there's no blowback on you. Imagine me going to the op side, yeah, shooting someone, they don't know it's me, and I let, I let someone else take the credit. So then they can just have a war, and I just sit there knowing that I did the dirt, and no one got caught for it. You know what I'm saying? But people, the problem is people want the clout. People do the dirt in the street because they want people to know it. That's where we've gone wrong, <laughs> do you understand? It's one thing having beef in the street and, and having wars in the street because someone took your friends, someone took your cousin, etc., etc., and, and it's real personal. But P these, these kids, they're just beefing, and buying weapons and that just so they can get caught with it just so they can show that they've got it so they can go to jail and say yeah i went to jail not for stealing purses i went to jail for a machine it's so dumb honestly it's, these kids are so stupid but at the end of the day yeah i'm not gonna lie bro i didn't like i have to be real here i was off the rails at 17. I, what can i say like, like I'm, i am a bit of a hypocrite in that way because you know i wasn't all there at 17. you know I, I don't think i was all there i'm not really all there now you feel me but you know at 17 i was i was a lot more immature hot-headed, all these things, but this is why you have to listen to people like me and other people out there, people who are older. I'm 29 years old, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to listen to people, you have to listen to your OGs. You have to listen to people who have lived longer than you. I get it, when you're 17, you think you know the world, and you're 18, you think you're a man, and I, I get it, but it's just like, we need to, we need to trust our elders, you feel me? But anyway, I'm gonna end on this. Someone definitely ratted on that guy, yeah? Someone snitched, someone bit the cheese. One of them Ghana truth-telling ones, you feel me? 
because it said the police received intelligence. I mean, that could be a, that, that could be a number of things, but re police re receiving intelligence, but most of the time it's a snitch. Yeah, probably another 17 year old, maybe jealous. Could be he could have got backdoored. He could have been one of his friends. Yeah, I know that you know on this address, blah blah blah. Otherwise, how would he know? Unless it had been fired and they, they traced it back to the house. I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't. I'm not a fed. I don't know the investigation, but. How else would they know? They just randomly receive intelligence of this young boy. It's not like this boy is a famous rapper. You know what I'm saying? He might be well known in the streets, I don't know. All I know him is Mr. Smith, young Mr. Smith, who's now been in jail. Now he's lucky that he was caught at 17. He only got three years for this. Now I don't know if he's got to do the whole three years or half or two thirds, I don't know. Yeah, the system's inconsistent, who knows? But he won't, he'll be back on the streets very soon and he'll be 20, 21 years old and he'll be young. He still won't be a fully grown man. I don't care, you know, you, you're not really an adult until you're 25 in my opinion. Yeah, I don't give a shit what no damn, what some Oyinbo said in parliament. Yeah, it's 18, no, no, no. 25 is really, when you're really, really an adult, when your prefrontal cortex stops, you know what I'm saying, when it's fully developed, but he'll come out and he probably will be straight onto badness again. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully this time in jail can improve him. You know, see that like Mizzy, shout out Mizzy. Remember that TikTok terror? He's actually turned his life around. For, he went to jail for like a week. You know what I'm saying? He was in jail for like a week or like two days or something. And he's like, no, I ain't ever trying to go back. I'm trying to do better. Yeah, I was in jail for doing TikToks <laughs> and um, even that spurred him a lot, like spurred him uh, on enough to change his life. So hopefully, so it's possible, but hopefully this you ain't too far gone. Why he's dancing around like a clown, like a goofy in his bedroom, all this legs in the air and all this dancing around, flipping, he must, what, what is this? He thinks it's a rave, he thinks it's a wireless, he thinks it's a wireless festival or something. When he said put your gum fingers in the air, you weren't talking about real ones, you know what I'm saying? Like chill, chill bro. But clearly he's misguided. Let me know your thoughts guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bow.